Hey folks, this is Fishing Bass NC. I'm coming at you with another couple unboxings here for the month of May in 2022. So I have in my hands the Mystery Tackle Box Elite for May, and I also have the Monster Bass Box for May. Um, Rick still has not gone back to the uh, to the fishing bags or the bait bags. Um, so it's in a box this month. This month, instead of starting off with Mystery Tackle Box, we're going to start off with Monster Bass. So we'll open that up and we'll show you what we got here. So Rick included a brochure this month for uh, visiting Sebring, Avon Parks in Lake Placid, Florida. Uh, it's full of information in here about things you can do there, uh, fishing, there's some other events that go on there. Uh, talks about a couple other key area lakes that are in that area. Uh, tells you how to get a fishing license, trophy catches, uh, has some lake maps, lake chart, and some other resources for you in this in this uh, brochure. So there you go. If you're visiting Avon Park in Lake Placid, Florida, this is called Sebring. It's the uh, lakes and fishing guide that's included in Monster Bass. So, all right, we got a ten dollar off code um, for this month. Rick's giving us ten dollars off merchandise on Monster Bass. Um, that's if you get your box, you're gonna have that ten dollars off. Rick gave us a uh, card this month that says, "Our mistake, your reward. What happened?" And please see the other other side for details. So he writes, "Thank you for being such a big part of Monster Bass family. While we strive for perfection, sometimes things happen that are out of our control. Due to unforeseen breakdown in the supply chain, the Monster Bass drop shot tungsten weights did not arrive on time to include in the May kit." The good news is we expect the weights to be in our warehouse about one to two weeks from now. You'll be the first to know as soon as it's ready to ship and we'll send you a one-time code that will allow you to order one set of drop shot weights for free. As a token from our appreciation for your patience and understanding, we've also included a free bonus bait in your box this month. Please accept our sincerest apologies and inconveniences. Cheers from Rick Patry, the founder of Monster Bass. So, looks like he's going to give us a bonus bait. He's uh, also giving us the code that we can get those tungsten weights when they get in stock. So, that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, we're waiting for those weights because this month we're doing, we're doing uh, looks like a bunch of uh, drop shot techniques here for this month. So, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's in this box specifically for drop shot. Not sure if that bonus bait is going to be for it or not. But as he's done in the last couple months, tells you a little history about it. Gives you some tips and tricks on uh, how to rig it and uh, some lessons about how to do things with the drop shot. So a good read. Uh, he's starting to be more and more like these type of uh, brochures. I think next month, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be top water. So we'll watch for that. Anyways, first thing we see in the box here is by X Zone. It's the X Zone Lures 4 inch Pro Series Slammer. There are eight in this, and it's in the color of Bass Candy. So there you go, there's some 4 inch slammers. Take one, uh, see if we can get one out of here. Give you a little more closer look at it outside of the, outside of the package. There's just your typical uh, typical smell from the plastic itself. Um, they stretch, they're not too bad. They're not an Elastec type stretching, but there's the top of it right there. Got this tail, obviously, that's giving a lot of uh, a lot of wiggle there. So when it's you know hooked on the drop shot, that's probably gonna flap a lot with the water. Bottom is a little lighter color, almost a translucent color. So there it is. This is the X-Zone 4-inch Pro Series Slammer, and it's in the Bass Candy color. And it's an 8-pack, so full, full uh, pack of baits there. X-Zone Lures puts out some, some really nice stuff, so I'm um, looking forward to hooking that up and seeing how it does with the, uh, seeing how it does with the bass out there on the drop shot. I've never fished a drop shot before. I'm going to try to do that a few times this year just to see how it goes in the lakes that I have locally. Um, to me, a drop shot doesn't always work, at least not in my mind. It doesn't always work well from the uh, from a bank fisherman's point of perspective. 
Uh, but we'll see. We'll give it a try. We'll see how it works. Um, you know, if you have a boat or something you can get further out onto the water where it's a little deeper, I think drop shots are great for that. Um, but like I said, bank fishing, maybe not so great. Depends on, on the depth you get at your uh, local lakes. So we'll give it a try. Next thing we have is by Z-Man. This is the, the 10X Tough Elaztec. Um, these are the trick shots in black color. They're 3.5 inches in length. This is a six pack, so another full pack. So there's the Z-Man packaging. We'll take one of those out, give it a good stretch. Z-Man's really well known for uh, their bait stretching a lot. So it tends to have uh, more time that you can fish with it versus some of the softer plastics that get chewed up quickly. Um, but there you go. There's the uh, there's a trick shot. Has some ribs on the on the top of it and the edges. It does stretch a long ways. So it's a very stretchy bait because of that elastic. One thing you want to do is these elastic baits. You don't want to put them next to other plastics. It will interact with the material that's there, and both the elastic and the other type of plastic will not be useful if you do have them interact with each other. So you definitely want to put them back in the Z-Man packaging and keep them separate from other types of uh, soft plastics just so that it doesn't get mixed in. There you go. The Z-Man Trick Shots Black, three and a half inch, six pack, full, full pack there. We have some drop shot uh, hooks here from Spearpoint. These Spearpoint hooks, they work just like other hooks. Um, what gives them a unique uh, aspect to it is they have a little bit of a notch as, as, you, as you're looking at the hook itself and this is a six pack of one knot size the finesse hooks we have plenty of these we've received a lot of these through this box and also mystery tackle box over the several months we've been a subscriber so there you go one knot size six of them full pack very nice to have all right, we're getting down into some other other items here. I'm going to go over some of the uh, other things we have here. We have the sticker of the month. This says it's the River Rat. So there you go. There's the sticker for this month, the River Rat. Pretty cool. We're going to stick him someplace on one of our uh, one of our tackle boxes with along with the others. We have a golden ticket. The golden ticket. This is a ticket that you hang on to every Thursday evening. Monster Bass has a podcast out. And they always pick four winners every Thursday evening. So check them out 7 p.m. Eastern Time live or rewatch the uh, video afterwards and see if they draw your number. And if they do, all you have to do is hold it up, take a picture with your number exposed, which is on the side here that I got covered up. Take it with yourself, send it in to them at marketing at monsterbass.com, and they'll send you a sweet prize pack. All right, so here's the extra bait um, that they sent this month. This is the Monster Bass Bay. It's the Patriot 2.0 topwater. It's uh, 3 and 7 eighths inches long. It's a half ounce. And this one is... Let's see. I don't see a color on it, but it looks almost like a, like a bone. Bone type color. Um, they got katana hooks. Japanese katana hooks. Um, it doesn't say the color on this. That I see any place, but there you go. There's the there's the Monster Bass Patriot 2.0. I know they're very sharp hooks. If I can give you a little closer here, take it out of the box. It's got a good it's a good rattle in it too. So as you're fishing this through, it's a top water bait. It's going to rattle a little bit. It's going to do a walking back and forth. It's got some very sharp hooks. These are the katana hooks, like I said. Um, the one in front here is a red color. So that's that's pretty traditional for the um, for the monster bass type baits that, that you get in a box. All right, I'm gonna put that back here, put it aside. Try not to get stabbed by those sharp hooks. We're gonna take a look at the next item that's in a box. This is by Strike King, it's the KBD Sexy dog. So this looks like it's a, uh, let's see, is this a topwater? It is. It's a topwater uh, bite as well. Um, as it shows on here, it has three, th 
three big size hooks. I'm sure they're very sharp. The box is not easy to get open and close. So I'm gonna leave it in a box for now. But this is the Tennessee Shad 2.0 um, called the Sexy Dog. There you go. That's, that's the KVD Sexy Dog. Again, Tennessee Shad color 2.0. And uh, yeah, looking forward to fishing that. Some nice, nice color on top there. So that should get the job done. All right, next thing in the box is by Monster Bass again. We have the Rolo 6. This dives four to six feet in depth. Its length is two and a half inches. Its weight is half an ounce. So we have a crankbait here. It's in the Rolo 6 SB Shad or Silverback Shad color by Monster Bass. We'll take that one out too, give you a closer look. See how the box opens up here. Get the plastic undone. And we'll show you this a little closer. All right, so there's a little spoon bill on the front. Again, this thing's gonna dive four to six feet. It has the Monster Bass logo on top with the colors up there. As you get to the bottom of it, you have a little bit of yellow both along the side here and the bottom. Two very sharp hooks. We have a feather trailer, a uh, feather, tr feather tail on it that uh, has a little bit of white and uh, purple on it. That's, that's a pretty nice looking bait there. Again, we have the red hook on front, normal color hook on the back. Hooks are pretty sharp, they're nice. So, Monster Bass is Rollo 6. Dive four, four to six feet. It's two and a half inches in length, and the weight is a half an ounce. So this is a good, good bait for. Uh, again, if you're a bank fisherman like myself, it's a nice bait to have. It doesn't dive too crazy um, in in depth, so it's it's doable on on pretty much almost any place I go bank fishing. So I'll keep that one there. Uh, next we have by Castaic. It's the CC Square Bill. 1.0 this thing looks like it uh, looks like its length is two inches its weight is a quarter ounce and it dives two to four feet there's a cc square bill 1.0 this is in the molting crawl color it's called give you a closer look at that here let's take that out of the box give you a closer look This is called Molting Cross. There you go. There's the, there's the color on top. Nice square bill. There's the color on bottom. That should do really well. Again, this one's going to dive two to four feet. So another, another nice bait for uh, people like myself that fish from the bank. It's, uh, it's a good depth there, so that should work out no problem. All right. So that's the Monster Bass box, again for May 2022. That's all that's in there. We're gonna move over to the Mystery Tackle Box now for May of 2022. This is the Mystery Tackle Box Elite. And we'll open it up and see what we got in the box. Now in Mystery Tackle Box, we usually start with the literature first. And the reason we do that is because they always give you a what's inside card. So it gives you what's inside the, inside the box, how much the, uh, the baits cost for retail price, and it you know it shows you all, shows you the names, the price, and uh, we usually go top to bottom when we read that. So we'll put that aside for now. They have the Dibble Digest. This is full of fishing tips and tricks. It's a good read. Sometimes they have some games, like on the back they have a game here for fishing lure and rig bingo, right? But again, there's there's all kinds of all kinds of uh, literature within this. Very good read. I recommend you you take a look at them. Don't just throw them aside. Um, you might learn something out of them. The uh, sticker for this month for Mystery Tackle Box is the Catch Co. sticker. And that's pretty cool. So, again, that's going to go somewhere on one of my tackle boxes. I'm hoping someday that I can get myself a, a boat, like a John boat or something, and I can start putting stickers on that, um, on the inside of it. And I, you know, just to... Just to look kind of cool for the inside, so we'll see. Um, we did get a 10,000 fish uh, tataki frog, and they gave us some literature on that. 
So uh, it says the tataki frog roams the pads and mats at its own pace. Um, it does some. Ex it has an external walking weight system. Its innovative design is is easy for walking across the top of the water. It says fish it over emergent ve vegetation around cover through the open water or skip it under over changing trees and docks and get ready for the blow ups. This thing. Uh, it's good. It looks pretty sweet, the one that's in there. So anyways, here's the card. Tells you a little bit about it. It tells you some features about it on the back of the card. Interesting information to read about that bait. So, very first bait we have on that list of what's inside is the Freedom Tackle Mischief Minnow. It comes in at $13.99. So we will get that out of the box. Here it is, the Mischief Minnow Freedom Tackle... Or, uh, Freedom... Tackle, Tackle Corporation. This is a clacking topwater bait. Um, it looks like it's in the AU or AYU color. AU. Um, it has a premium paint finish. Gamagatsu Magic Eye trebles. Uh, Matchum Custom uh, Shaped Blade. This thing looks pretty sweet, folks. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think it's pretty unique here. Again, a topwater bait. There's the bait itself in the box. We're gonna take it out of the box, give you a closer look here if we can get in this box. Here. Okay, so there's the bait. There's the blade. The blade's gonna probably spin a little bit underneath. Give it that much more of a presentation like there's a bunch of schoolfish with it. Let's see if it has a... It does have the clacking noise like they're talking about. But anyways, that's the presentation, that's the look of it. Like I said, it has really, really uh, sticky hooks. There you go. It's the Freedom Tackle. There's the logo up there. It's a closer look of the eyes. And we have the color on the bottom. goes to a white. But that should look pretty cool. Swim in top water. Have the spoon. Uh, spinning back here in the back. To add a little more to it. Never saw anything like that before. Um, I'm willing to give it a try and see how it works. It, to me, it looks like it would probably do a really good job. So, we'll see. Um, anyways, that, again, comes in at $13.99. The Freedom Tackle Mischief Minnow. Next, we have the 10,000 Fish Tataki Frog. So, that's the frog I was telling you about that they gave us some literature on. This one is 2.5 inches. It's 5 eighths of an ounce. Uh, it has an external walking weight to it, and it is in the rising sun color. So there's the box it comes in. I'll try to give you a closer look here. We'll take that one out of the box as well. It's starting to look pretty cool. It has like a red and red, black, and gray look to it. And again, they call it, I think they call it rising sun. It's a tacky frog. There you go. There's the there's the legs on the back of it, a little black and red with sparkle. There's the color of it on the side there, red, black, and gray. The top. Here's the bottom of it. Two nice hooks at the top here. Very sharp. 10,000 uh, fish really has some great products. This one, I, I really like the colors of this one. Um, I'm a fan of stuff that's red. You know, of course, you don't always want to fish with red, red uh, lures, but there is a time and place for that. So this thing, I think, is going to do a great job. I'm looking forward to throwing it as a topwater bait. Um, hopefully, it's next week or two. Get out there and use that, and we'll see how it works. That comes in at $10.99. The next thing is by Catch Outdoors. It's the Mach K. It's $9.99. So here's the Mach K by Catch Outdoors. This says it sits vertical and the pops, it spits and it walks. It's the Popper 70. This is in the black bone color. It's two and a half inches and its weight is 0.35 ounces. So there you go. There's the there's the popper. I love poppers. Um, any type of popper. This one it just looks really cool with the colors. I'm hoping this one will uh, 
will do as well as some of the other poppers I've used in the past. But here's a closer look at it. It has nice red eyes on it. Catch logo at the top. It's going to spit the, spit the water out right there. Pretty, pretty good. So I'm looking forward to that. There's some hooks on there. A white with a little bit of a uh, sparkle uh, tail on it, feather tail. So yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Should do a great job. That one comes in at $9.90. Again, it's the Catch Outdoors Mach K popper. So we'll put that one aside for now. We have the Reaction Strike XRM coming at $8.99. This bait is the XRM 80MD. It's in the Ghost Threadfin Shad color. This one is 3.2 inches in length, 0.65 ounces, and it dives five to eight feet. I tend not to use these because they're just they deep they dive a little deeper, and um, it's not really what I'm looking for. But I may hang on to this and give it a try someplace. But there you go. I'm not going to open it for now because if I don't want to give it a try maybe i'll give it away sometime too um not sure yet right now i'm thinking i'm going to try it but i may give it away as well to one of you lucky subscribers so stay tuned for that uh that one comes in at eight dollars and 99 cents the next one is lucky john jo joko shaker it's four dollars and 99 cents so here we go we got the joko shaker this is this is a um Looks like it's a Japanese bait, uh, designed in Japan. Real fish action, there's four in here. It's three and a half inches in length. And let me see if I can find a color for you. It does not say the color unless I'm missing it. Let me look real quick again. Yeah, I don't see a specific color for it. But there you go, there's the bait. They have a art model, which is 140302-F02. So apparently that's their color rating. Or if you're looking for the specific color, that's probably what you would look up. Take this out here, give a closer look. It's double packaged in plastic. So we'll take, we'll take one out. Oh, it has a big time salt smell. Wow pretty strong so there you go it's it's to me it's like almost like a brown type color i don't think i've ever fished anything that was brown before but this should be pretty interesting to try it does have a hook keeper in the bottom of it where your hook goes up through it's hard to get open too but you gotta trust me right there's your hook keeper could be neat as a trailer it could be neat just to try to fish it by itself. Maybe Texas rigged. You know, it's a little little plopper, tail plopper. And uh, it might it might do well just by itself. But we're going to give it a try a couple different ways. Again, by itself and also uh, maybe as a trailer on some jig or some other bait um, that we can match it up with. But again, it looks more like a brownish type color. Again, I've never fished anything that was brown before like that. So, not sure if it'll do well or not. You know, I've seen some uh, some live worms that were kind of brownish looking that, you know, did the trick. So, I'm, I'm thinking that might work. We'll see. Um, anyways, that comes in at $4.99 for the four of them in there. Next thing is by Bass Reaper Bait Company. It's the Icicle. It's $4.99. This is a drop shot uh, in the dirt nap color. It's a 10 pack, so full pack. We take one of these out. Their logo is pretty cool too. I like I like Bass Reaper logo. It's pretty cool. These have a little bit of a uh, smell. These are brown on top and green on the bottom. So I don't know if you can see that really well on the camera. But there's your green, there's your brown on the top. Has kind of like a devil tail. So, pretty good stretch, not too bad. It's not a Z-Man type stretch, but that, that should do, do a really good job as a drop shot. I can see this possibly as, as uh, hooking it up Texas rig to and just swimming it through, see what it does. 
So, anyways, Bass Reaper Bait Company, the Icicle in the Dirt Nap color is $4.99 for 10 of them. That's a pretty good deal for 10. Next thing we have in the box is by Phoenix Baits. It's the Elite Series Archie Jig. This is $4.99. So this jig right here is 3 eighths of an ounce. And it looks like it's a stand-up type jig. It's in the peanut butter jelly color. So actually, this bait right here from Japan might team up well with this. It looks like, looks like it would fit in there really well. Again, this is Phoenix Baits. It's the Elite Series Archie Jig at $4.99. And it's that peanut butter and jelly color. Definitely has some purple in there. It has some browns and some greens. So again, that, that might team up really well with that Jocko Shaker. But that comes in, that particular jig comes in at $4.99. And the last thing we have in a box, which we haven't gotten in a long time, is the Stickies brand hooks. These are EWG hooks. Um, I think when we first got the uh, Mr. Tackle box way back when, we got some Stickies hooks, and they did really well. They were, they were nice, sharp hooks. This is in the three-aught size. It's a three-pack of Stickies hooks, and it comes in at $2.10. Anyways, that's both boxes, the Monster Bass box and the Mystery Tackle box, Elite. Um, I'm Fishing Bass NC. I got some descriptions down below that'll talk a little bit more about these boxes and how you can get them. If you, if you buy the Monster Bass box, you'll get the box um, possibly with a little discount. The other thing is you're actually helping me out on my channel. I get a little bit of commission for all the sales that happen on Monster Bass if you use my link. That'll be in the description down below. The Mystery Tackle Box, you can save your $10 off your first box. Um, they have boxes all the way down like $19.99, $29.99, and so on. Um, so, but you can save yourself $10 off and get your first box as low as $10 itself if you use that. Um, my link that's down below that'll help get you that um i don't get a commission for the mystery tackle box but they have some good stuff monster bass has some good stuff as well um sometimes one box may beat the other uh in a particular month or or the other box might win you know depending on what they have in it um but i like them both they're both great boxes to subscribe to um, again, I am a Monster Bass. Uh, I'm on the pro staff. I get a little bit of commission for sales, um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So check out the links down below. And while you're in the def uh, in the uh, links in the, that section, the description section down below, also check out my other social media sites. I sure would appreciate if you'd follow me there on those sites. Um, I have other content that I'm starting to put out there, and um, potentially I might have some additional giveaways that you won't see on this channel. Um, speaking of giveaways, I'll have another video coming out probably in the next week or so. I got a couple packages I'm going to give away uh, filled with a bunch of uh, tackle. Basically, I, I told you I was going to do this back in March for my birthday. I know we're almost in June now, but I got those bags ready, and uh, there's there's quite a, quite a few neat little items inside each one of those bags, and I'm going to give you a chance to win one of the bags uh, in a future video here, so stay tuned for that. Um, in order to see that video and you want to come back, you don't want to forget about this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, turn it on as all. That way you'll be notified. Anytime I post a video, you'll see what's coming up. You'll see uh, videos that, you know, in the past, if you want to rewatch them or anything, you'll have, a, have a, a place to actually go back in your subscriptions and say, oh yeah, Fishing Bass NC, he did some other videos. Let's take a look at what he did, you know, back in 2019 or 2020. Um, I do have some fish, fishing videos out there. I promise this year I'm going to get fishing videos out. Um, you know, some of you commented that I don't go fishing. I do actually fish. Sometimes I don't catch stuff, so I don't really want to make a video on that. However, I'm, I'm kind of have a change of mindset on that. I may show you what I'm using and just say it was a bad luck day. It didn't, you know, didn't turn out well for these particular, um, lures that I'm using that day, but... I wouldn't necessarily say the lures are bad because there might be another day that they work just as well. So stay tuned for the fishing videos coming up. And uh, thanks for watching. You know, take a kid fishing. Always try to practice catch and release so other folks can go back and try to catch some of those big lunkers as well. And um, 
yeah, enjoy your enjoy yourself on the water. This is Fishing Bass NC. Have a good one.